Hi, what's up? It's RGC, your favorite simulation gamer. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, like they say, even though it's not 2020, it is just Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we're checking out what's new. Last week we got a Western Europe update, which brings us a lots of new places, points of interest and Lots to look for, so we're gonna take a look in this video. Few places with a helicopter with a bit proper look than you can do on airplane, which is always going pretty fast. Pushback, we don't need any pushback. Do not request any pushbacks, bitch. Okay, whiskey too, taxiway whiskey, whiskey, son of a... We need, we need some whiskey here. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. Where, where are we actually going? No idea. Okay, we are in Paris. Paris, France, which is updated quite nicely during this update. So let's go and take off from Paris. Uh, what, what's the, this? Was or Orlo or something? Which is the closest thing to the centrum of Paris. There's a lots of new uh, building archetypes, so the cities are looking better. One, the thing, one, one of the things I uh, tested first was uh, Côté d'Azur Niche Airport or Nice Town because that was looking somewhat uh, odd according to real life. The rooftops were not so bright orange as they are in real world, so... I think the building archetypes were not right there, but now they are pretty much looking real deal. Even though those orange rooftops are much more orange in real life. So, yeah. It's beautiful anyway. As you can see, lots of landmarks in Paris. I mean, a lot. <laughs> so we have a lot to look for. I'm not gonna go through everything. Just taking a quick look and then you can do it by yourself by using this helicopter or airplane or something else but I, if you have option to use VR I definitely recommend to use VR because it is the best way to explore flight simulators beautiful world it definitely needs some juice from your computer but if you do have it it is the best way here we can see some history. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful. And here's the Notre Dame, which was burned down a bit two years ago. That was really unbelievable thing what happened to Notre Dame. Or not so, not so unbelievable, but it was kind of unbelievable anyway. Did you know that this is not finished? This never got finished, so that's why the two towers are uh, missing those highest peaks. It's still looking absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if this is a present day uh, modification of Notre Dame, or is it uh, the old one? 
before the fire. I don't know. I don't know even if they fixed that or not. It's gorgeous anyway, and here in VR it's really fucking mind-blowing. What do we have here? That's some kind of a stick called Eiffel Tower. And now they have now fixed this to look more like a real deal in a real world. And it is gorgeous. It is, <laughs> it is gorgeous. Oh yeah. One thing what we can't do in a real life without a uh, movie set or strict, uh, strict, uh, strict re restrictions is to fly underneath the Eiffel Tower with helicopter. I think they have done that, uh, they have circled around Eiffel Tower in some Bond movies and Maybe some other Hollywood things, but we can actually now dive through. This is a simulator, so we can do whatever we want. So let's make a dive through. With a helicopter under the Eiffel Tower. How cool is that? How cool is that? How scary this is! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh damn! Okay, it's done now. Let's go to our next destination to check out what else do we have here in this Western Europe update. Next we are here in Netherlands and we have here a Rijix Museum which is one of those new landmark marks added here in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and look at that, that's a Regix Museum we're driving through here like a Bond villain very good looking very 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 good looking it's also Netherlands uh, uh, it's beautiful country so if you are interesting about something different than Las Vegas or American landmarks, I definitely recommend to check out uh, Netherlands and of course Scandinavia, but maybe there's a Scandinavia update is coming maybe later, I hope so. I hope we had Finland and Sweden covered up and Norway. Norway is filled with beautiful mountains and everything, so it's definitely worth the wait. Regix Museum, it's a big place, huge, and nice to have it here. Also river and we have so much to see. And here in VR it's very summery, very, very good looking, very interesting to take a sightseeing. Look at that, there's some kind of a car, we're chasing a car here. Let's go to the next destination. Welcome to Rotterdam. Here we can see some famous windmills. Kinderdijk. I don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe I should have a hot potato in my mouth to pronounce it right. Look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful windmills. Yeah. Beautiful. I think these are, I don't know, but I, I, I'm pretty sure that they are some kind of a, a museum sightseeing which are now temporarily closed during COVID pandemic. But here in VR and in Flight Simulator, you can definitely check them out. It's not the same thing than a real thing, but it's the closest thing you can get. Very good looking. Very good looking. 
Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful. What else do we have here in Rotterdam? I don't know. And if you don't know, you should definitely go and take a look. Let's fly to our next destination. Alright, welcome to Belgium and Bris Brussel, the capital of Europe. This is like the Washington DC of Europe, Brussels, and that is Palace de Justice. Palace of Just Justice. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's massive. It's in central of Brussels. Gorgeous looking palace. Absolutely beautiful and massive it's like a fa phallus symbol it's like a white house of europe pretty nice pretty nice and they have now added here in the flight simulator that gorgeous building this is actually one of those areas in europe where there is not so much criminal activity so if you want to if you are rich and you want to go somewhere where is rich culture history and at almost none of criminal activity, this is the place you want to move into. Definitely. This is absolutely gorgeous. What else do we have here in Brussels? Lots of high-rise buildings, old churches and a lot to look for so if you are interesting to taking a circle around old cities Brussels is one of definitely one of those cities you want to explore uh, Germany as well and this is also a place you want to visit in a real life when all the COVID shit is gone in history this is definitely one place in earth you want to visit check out the culture history of Europe Berlin is one of those places as well but this is not so sexy media sexy as Berlin so as you can see it's definitely worth to visit this is more like a modern European culture history capital or, or or culture capital beautiful houses okay let's go to our next destination okay now we are in green Luxembourg to check out this beautiful Vianden castle this is old Roman uh, ruin here in Luxembourg one of those places you definitely want to visit in Earth at some point of your life. Look at that. It's like Cravey Dracula's castle, but that was actually Vlad Tree, and this is definitely a wrong country. <laughs> but this is beautiful. It's like a fairy tale castle in a Luxembourg. We Undone Castle. You can now explore it here first in a Flight Simulator. And then in real life, when COVID pandemic is gone. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a place to look for at some point of the life. i never been here, but this place looks amazing. I could definitely see myself drinking a nice cup of coffee there in this village and eating some ice cream and uh, taking taking a look of uh, that beautiful scenery of that massive castle over there so gorgeous so gorgeous and then when you have a uh, drink the coffee and 
eat your ice cream and you can go and take uh, maybe a little trip to the countryside waving to the castle lift off with your helicopter right over these hills over these trees to these green lawns and fields and running naked through all these fields enjoying the life enjoying the freedom of Luxembourg <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they are do saying there we are exos they are they're nasty nasty people behind the radio they are just asking me to do stuff I don't want to look at this village beautiful beautiful let's see what else we have here in the new update this next location is Mont Blanc one of those iconic sceneries what every European flight simulator gamer wants to see and wants to compare from game to game I remember one video which was comparing Mont Blanc in X-Plane 11 mod versus native Microsoft Flight Simulator version and the mod from X-Plane 11 was absolutely gorgeous and very authentic looking Mont Blanc but now the thing is different Flight Simulator makes everything look so much cooler so much so much more authentic so I think the tables have turned now this looks amazing The next location is beautiful, beautiful countryside scenery which rises up in the hill and there it is, the massive castle of Chateau du Hong Gunnichel. I don't know how to pronounce that really, but this is beautiful. I think we should take a proper look of this beautiful, beautiful castle here in the top of the hill with our helicopter.
It is time to land this baby down in the ground and we are still here in France. So one of those great new things here in the France map scenery is of course the iconic TV series set up Fort Boyard. I don't know if you guys ever watched uh, any episodes of Fort Boyard reality TV, but that's old, really old reality TV show back from the 90s and they really are making new episodes still at the today. So Fort Boyard is very, very iconic reality show and reality setup and it's actually a very great historical uh, fort building as well. So this is so freaking iconic. I now try to find if there's something, uh, some place to land here. We are definitely land here in the top of Fort Boyard. Alright, that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely did enjoy. This is so awesome to fly in VR here in the flight simulator. It's really like taking a vacation, taking a trip from another world or real world actually. Even though the buildings and all the, de all the details are a bit crappy looking here in the VR because of the models which are artificially generated not handcrafted but still anyway this is so beautiful game and the trips you take in the vr are absolutely fantastic so it was really pure and joy to make i don't know i hope you enjoyed to watch that okay thank you for staying with me we will see you in the next episode have a great day and bye bye <laughs>